Hey guys, welcome back to Angel Angela. And on this topic, you guys, we're going to talk about how narcissists lie to get their way. I think a lot of us know that, but we don't understand how deep it gets. It's happening every day. You've probably seen it happen, you know, um, in a way where you didn't really pay attention. You didn't really see it as that, you know, um, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know that narcissists will lie, will do anything to get their way. They've lied to you. They've cheated on you. They have betrayed you. They lied to you so many times. They looked you in the face. You, you want to know what's so blasphemous about the narcissist lying to get their way? You want to know what's so blasphemous about it? When they're looking at you dead in your eyes and they know they're full of crap and they're making you feel guilty, you'll even find yourself apologizing just to keep the peace. And the whole time they're lying to you and they're thinking in their head, yeah, bitch, bow down. Yeah, ho, bow down. Excuse my language, but that's what they're thinking. Narcissists, they're constantly cursing in their head, talking shit about you. While you're sitting there crying yourself to sleep, even. Sometimes you even cry yourself to sleep. You're just telling this person to leave you alone. You're like, leave me alone. You're putting the blanket over your head, crying yourself to sleep, feeling like you're in hell. And you're like, I don't understand. They're the ones who lied to me to get their way. They lied about what they've been doing. I, I didn't even want to find out their lies. I don't go through their phone. I don't go through. I don't follow them around like they follow me around. Like they try to sneak up and go through my phone and do weird stuff to see what I'm doing. I don't even try to catch them lying. I just always it, it starts to become to the point where you know they lie and you don't want to know the lies it becomes it gets to the point first you're all in your emotions you're upset because they're lying to you then they're lying to your face to get their way to keep you around love bombing you they're stalking you doing all kind of things right to get you to just forget about it. They're, you're so focused on the fight, on the back and forth, on them not t talking to you, not contacting you, to them now, you know, harassing you to speak to them. You're so confused with all that back and forth that you don't even realize that they lied to you, betrayed you, and you should be pissed. And yeah, you're pissed, but you almost feel like if they were just to apologize, I'll forgive them. I'll forgive them if they just apologize. If they say sorry, because they don't want to say sorry. They hate to admit what they've done. I just want them to admit what they've done. And then they won't admit what they've done. They'll lie to get their way. You know, sometimes they'll admit certain things. Okay, you caught me red-handed, but that's not how it really went. I only, I, only, I met that person at, at work. I only hooked up with them one time. I never talked to them again. They lie to get their way. They, this could have been an ex from the past. This could have been someone that they were going back and forth with before they met you. And now they're going back and forth again. And you're thinking you're primary, you're secondary. And then, you know, you get promoted to, you know, uh, primary. And then you just forget about it. You forget about it. Because they always lie to get their way. And then once they lie to get their way and you're invested in them, you're invested in these fucking fake ass fights that you're having. Your anxiety is high. You're you're acting like a crazy person. You're acting you're acting like you're addicted to them. You know, you're like waking up out your dreams like, oh, they're with another person. I can feel it. You know, they got you driving up to their house now. Now you're looking crazy. Now they're now the moment that you start doing what they do, when they're trying to make sure you're you're not with anyone else, now when you start doing the same things to them, everyone sees you as the crazy person now, but they don't know that it's them who is acting up acting upon this behavior all the time and they're they're telling other people they're lying to get their way. Other people are, are questioning the narcissist's behavior because they've done this to other people. And they're like, what's going on? You always get the crazy girls. You know, they're 
oh man I, I don't know how i end up with the crazy girls they're they're talking shit you know those people that they're flying monkeys they don't know they're trying to figure out what's going on you know some of them do know what's going on they know the narcissist is lying to you and your your head is in the clouds and they might even give you hints like you don't want to mess with this guy you don't want to mess with this chick they're looking at you like a sad puppy because they're like they can't even believe you're falling for all the lies and they almost feel like for you to fall for all the lies they might feel like you might be the Jezebel you might be a narcissist too because now all the things that the narcissist has done to cross your boundaries now you start doing it back to them now you're crossing boundaries and for the narcissist to get their way with whatever supply they have they have to make you look like the crazy person all that is calculated you know them doing random things that look crazy to you that you almost feel like well if this person if this person didn't love me or didn't care about me they wouldn't try so hard to be with me right that's what you're thinking what do you get out of it narcissist you're like what do you get out of it supply sex you know they're sitting here I'm telling you that the person they hooked up with, oh, I just used them. I just used them, you know, one time. I, I wasn't really invested in them. And they're telling that other person the same thing about you. Oh, I, I, I just used them. They don't even want you two to talk again, you know. They don't want you teaming up against them, you know. So they'll lie to both parties and tell both parties the same thing. And then whoever accepts the abuse, that's who the narcissist is going to roll with. Not because he cares of either one of you or he's stuck in the middle loving two people. But it's who's going to take my lies, who's going to accept my lies. This is why they'll leave people they've been with for years for someone new. Because that new person hasn't figured out that in this world, in this narcissistic world that we live in, People lie to get their way. People talk their way out of shit, talk their way out of situations. It's it's the the narcissist, you know, most powerful tool because a lot of good people can sit there and, um, you know, a lot of good people can go through situations or they might get pulled over by the police. Hey, I'm on my way to work. I was running late. Uh, I know I shouldn't have been doing it. You're admitting it, you know. The narcissist is like, oh, all I have to do is lie to get my way. Oh, I get pulled over. I'm a lie. You know, oh, I need, um, you know, I I'm going to tell someone I need money for a bill when I know I, I don't really have a bill to pay. I just want to take money from you. So they will lie to get their way. Jezebel spirits, too. That's what they do. And it's a tactic of manipulation. And, yeah, we live in a world where. You know, people need stuff. We all need stuff. But what will it take for you to get those things? Like, are you willing to sell yourself out? That's what you're doing. You're selling yourself out for riches. And if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But it's going to come it's going to come with the prize because you might think you're getting a prize. You might think you're getting a, a valuable, a high quality man or something like that. But you don't know if that high quality man is a narcissist and what hell you're about to experience and then you're going to feel like it wasn't worth it you should have just worked your way up you should have just got your own you know um so um narcissists will constantly lie to you to get their way and they do it every single day in different situations where it goes undetected. And I'm speaking of this because while I was with the narcissist, even when I left, I knew that they lie to get their way. You know, their son is autistic. They'll go to work late and say, hey, um, I was late. You know, my son is autistic. He needs a little bit extra help. And he's not even around his son. You know what I'm saying? Like they lie to get their way and you don't want to question someone about their autistic kid. But if I was to say something to the narcissist, like you shouldn't lie on your son like that, he will flip out and be like, don't you talk about my fucking kid? You know, da, 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 da. you know, they, they don't pay attention to what they're doing and how it it's wrong 
or how they shouldn't use other people in their drama, in their mess, in their lives. They shouldn't involve other people in their lives. They're messy people. Narcissists are very messy people. They would lie to get it to get whatever they want. And then when they get caught and, and people discover them, they will continue to lie. They feel like, hey, that I, it, it's almost going to sound believable to where you are you don't know who to believe. You're like, the thing about the narcissist, when they lie, man, they are like the best liars. I'm not lying to you. They're so good at lying. It's like catching someone still and you're like, I know you stole something and they're looking at you dead in the eyes. They're lifting their shirt up and they're like, I would never steal. And it's like stuck in their underwear or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like crazy. Um, I remember getting into a argument with the narcissist and like just taking off on them, you know, um, because their lies were catching up to them. Like I said, sometimes you don't even look for these things. They just appear because God wants you to wake up. God wants you to see what they're doing is wrong. And God is see, is also trying to tell you if you start behaving like the narcissist, retaliating, um, you know, stalking them back, you can't leave them alone, the desperation. If you start loving them, you're loving them more than God. And it's like the most ultimate sin because the narcissist tries to get you to believe that it doesn't matter that they're behaving this way because God isn't going to punish them. They are God. That's the the that's the the energy they're giving you is I am God. God isn't going to punish me for what I've been doing to you. I've been getting away with it. You see, you know, God isn't real. So they want you to believe that God isn't real. Um, and, you know, when the narcissist lies, they feel like God. They feel like they could lie their way out of anything. And like I said, things will appear to you because God wants you to wake up. God wants you to see this person's a liar. Sometimes you tell God, God, please give me a sign to let me know to leave this person. Just give me one sign. And then God just slaps you with that sign in your face, the red flag. He waves the red flag in your face. Here I am. I'm real. You better watch everything you're doing with this person right here because it's gonna this person gonna eat you up alive. You better be careful gossiping with them. You better be careful careful feeding into their lies and their deception and their stories and their their fake traumas. You, your all these fake beefs that they got. You better be careful because the moment you start talking to them and 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 and, and making them feel good. And, and comfort in their lies you're giving them comfort in their lies and that's just that's almost that's like that's like the narcissist committing first degree murder and now you're being charged with second degree murder for dealing with them for just being in the car outside waiting while they went in the house and slapped the shit out of their baby mama, their wife, their family, their kids. They got a lot of responsibilities, things that they need to take care of, stuff that they're avoiding, people they're running away from. And here you are picking them up, you know, over here like, oh, let's go. Let's go on a nice little joy ride. Let's let's go out here and have an adventure. Let's go out and have some drinks. Oh, let's just go out in La La Land. Let's just go out in fantasy land and just keep acting like we're going to live this happily ever life when you know you're on the run. You know what I'm saying? So narcissists will lie and get you to believe that they're abused. They're not getting their karma for the abuse. They're not dealing with issues. They're, they want you to believe these things because it almost makes you feel like, well, if there was a God, why would I be going through all this? But it's because God is literally like here i am red flag here i am red flag two red flags three red flags there's like you have a whole backyard full of red flags and you can't tell that each and every red flag is, is a cemetery stone and, and it's leading you to death it's leading you to hell so you know narcissists will lie and they're selling you out while they're lying. And you'll have a point in time where you'll say, I think I'm dancing with the devil. Because it's like when you're young, right? And you're going to church or say your your family, your church people, and you're young and you're going to church, 
you're not taking everything serious. You might believe in what, what they're saying, but you don't really understand it fully. You just know you're being taught to love others, to forgive. You're, you're taught to forgive, to let go of the past. You're taught all these things, right? But it's almost like when you get older, all this shit just goes out one ear off the other. And you almost feel like, okay, that's that's what my family told me you know, to go to church and things like that, you might even stop going to church because you you found a lot of people being hypocrites. So you almost feel like, you know, maybe there there isn't a God. A part of you knows there's a God, but when you have weak moments, you'll question it. You'll question it. But those weak moments don't even come from God. Something happened that led you there something ungodly happened but you didn't see the seriousness of it because when you went to church and you were taught about evil you didn't really understand evil you were so focused on you know this person doing evil things and then asking for forgiveness and being and knowing that you have to forgive that you didn't understand what forgiveness even really meant you know um so you realize after coming out of narcissist abuse that you were in hell, that you were like deep in hell and you just kept going deeper. It kept getting hotter. You kept burning up physically, mentally, spiritually. You were burning up, you know, um, and then you have a, a clear understanding about evil, all the wickedness that you were taught when you were younger. It finally like soaks in like you're like, oh, shit, I thought the narcissist wasn't the devil. I didn't think they were the devil. I thought that they were just not perfect, just like me. Right. But then once once these people come into your life and break you to the fullest, not everyone was broken the same to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Some people manage to still remain, remain, you know, with with the same life that they had before the narcissist. Some of us, you know, a narcissist took away a lot and some of us ended up with nothing. And some of us are still somewhere in the street trying to figure out if there's a God or not and have given themselves away to believing that there is, there's, they're hopeless. There's no more hope there. You know, they might act, you know, grateful when you give them something, but there's no hope there. There's no, no, there's no light there to even want to try. You know, a lot of us keep ourselves from from getting staying staying down. We might end up down for years on the street, but we're going to get up. Some people's lights were dimmed all the way. So we realize, wow, that was the power of God. God was there all along trying to warn me that this person is willing to do anything to get their way and and they're selling me out for cheap. Some of these narcissists don't even have two nickels to rub together for you. And they're you're, they're selling you out for cheap. You know, there's, it's like committing a crime and getting in trouble. And you're like, I didn't even do shit. I was just in the car. I didn't even know they were doing that. They told me to pull up. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's so serious when you're dealing with these people because you're going to hear about it online. You're going to hear about narcissism. You're going to have narcissists online exposing themselves, telling you shit that we already know about them. They're telling us how they feel. We already know how you feel. We already under, we understand. We experienced it. You're confirming it just like anyone else can confirm to me. But see, the times that we're living in, there's going to be new tactics that the narcissist is going to use to lie, to, to lie, you know, you know, to get their way, you know, and, and the reason it's going to get dirtier and dirtier is because guess what? The economy, everything's going up. Um, artificial intelligence is kicking in. You can't get away from certain things. There's going to be background checks. All the, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be an increase in, in in society and it's going to get to the point where it's not going to be safe for people to have a whole bunch of kids 
It's not going to be safe, one. And financially, it's going to be very hard to keep up, you know. So narcissists are going to get greedier, even more evil, even more undetected. And they're going to want, they're telling you the truth right now because it's going to desensitize you. And it's going to make you feel like there, there is hope if they're able to realize all these, they're, you're, you're going to think, oh, if they're making all these videos and they understand all these things about them and they're sharing, that means that there's hope. There is no hope for them type of people, you know? So you might think, you know, God saved me. I was in a very dark place. Yeah, but you didn't intentionally go around hurting people. These people have been doing that for years. Some of them since their childhood. It's very different because they've sinned. They're not with God. That's why when they're around you, you almost feel like you're dealing with the devil because you're describing the narcissist as the most evilest thing that you can think of. And that's Satan himself, right? So, um, a lot of narcissists will go undetected, not only because they've already warned you. Everyone knows about narcissists. So guess what? From here on out, it's open game. If you get played, you get played because guess what? It's too much. The narcissist feels like if you already know who they are, what they are to them, it's like, OK, well, if I play anybody, it's going to be on you. Whatever supplies they get with, they, they're going to feel like they deserved it because they have more than enough information. So if you get trapped into loving these people, having feelings for these people, they feel like they're going to prey on you. And and if it ain't and, and this time around to especially to all of you guys who have already been through this situation with these people. This time around, there's no room for mistakes. You know how like. You go through through middle school, elementary school, high school, and then you go into adulthood and then you, you know, certain crimes that you committed when you were younger, say you stole from the store, they let it go because you were a kid. But now you do that in your adulthood and you can't, you can't just get away with it. You can, but it eventually it's going to catch up to you one way or another, or someone is going to take from you. In the spiritual realm, you have to pay for everything. So this time around, you do not have room for mistakes. That's why I'm making this video. You do not have room for mistakes. If you're listening to this, if you have all this information, you do not have room for mistakes because this time around, you will not make it. You will not survive to the next level. This is the period that we're in. We're in the period of awareness. So if people, if the, once the narcissist knows that you're aware of their behavior, what do they do? They keep fucking with you. They keep fucking with you until you don't want to mess with them no more. And even when you don't want to mess with them, what do they do? They keep messing with you. They keep messing. They don't stop, right? You know that eventually they stop if they have, you know, supply and they don't, they don't need to come back, you know, or they'll come back just to heat check, just to check up, just to know what you're up to, just to have one night stands, whatever it is. But this time around, there's no room for mistakes. So all these, the younger generation who's in La La Land, who's brainwashed by the music, guess what? That generation, they don't have a chance. They, if they think narcissism is cool and they're growing up in a culture of narcissism and they feel like they're narcissists themselves, guess what? They're going to attract narcissists. So you're going to see a lot of people get destroyed. And this time around, the youth, they're not going to even make it to 30 and 40 and 50. They're not going to survive. They're not going to make it. And they're going to end up in in really bad situations where it's going to be very difficult to get out of to where even their families are going to give up. And you're going to see a lot of younger and younger homeless people. You're going to see younger ho homeless people. You're going to see younger people that are, you know, that are going to destroy themselves quicker than you did. And, and, and those of us who are OGs in this game who already know what's going on, we don't have.